Lads, lads, I've found something absolutely brilliant. I'm not even kidding you when I say I think I might have found the next Paul Breach. And his name is Cam Reed, a.k.a. Divorce Dad 83 of Melbourne, Australia. And and boy, is he something. So that's what I'm going to look at in today's video. And you're, you're going to laugh, trust me. Do you see what I mean? Absolute gold mine. Let's take a look at that clip again because it is just magnificent. Why are you slicking back your hair, bro? What hair do you have to be slicking back? Like, what are talking about the invisible quiff, the fucking phantom hairline? My brother in Christ, you are bald. Give it up. There's no point in trying to fool anyone. Also, can we talk about that fucking caption, man? POV. You see me and feel attraction. We lock eyes and it feels like a breath of fresh air. Unfortunately, I'm on my way to another date, but you will remember this forever. My brother in Christ, what do you mean? Like, I, I would like to make the joke of like, oh, your dad's handling the divorce well, but he actually is divorced and he is not handling it well. Jesus Christ. If you can, mate, please just log off. Just log off. It's not worth it, fella. And I'm not being funny, but I'd rather be anywhere than, like, in bed with you. Anywhere else I'd rather be. You, you're just, you're just weird, fella. Like, I don't, I don't want to be around you. Not trying to dodge around to be, like, sly or anything. But there is a reason I titled this video The Next Pool Breach. It's because you're both weirdos. How, at the age of 40, are you making videos like this with a straight face? My brother in Christ, deal with your divorce the normal way. Drink. Become an alcoholic. Go fuck a 20-year-old. Actually, maybe don't do that one. Uh, go, go to therapy. Just go to therapy. Don't post TikToks, please. It's, it's not worth it, bro. It could be you holding my hand walking through nature. Take a chance. Be bold. In mine. Now I saw this and completely changed my tune. I was like, fuck me, Cam looks like a bit of me. So uh, I left him this proposition in the comments. Um, do we think he's going to say yes? I'm inclined to believe he will. Um, for certain reasons, uh, to do with the, the title of this video, uh, I think he might be a bit like Paul Breach in that he fancies children. Um, I, I, just my opinion, I think he's a bit weird. Please don't sue me. Just, just tell me that this man's internet history and TikTok videos don't give you the same impression. And what I'm saying is I would not be surprised is if in the coming days I, I get a message from him saying that he's down, j just saying. Also, yes, I do like my own comments. Fuck you. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. She's 28 telling me I'm still a baby. Cam, you clearly do care or you wouldn't be making videos like this. Please, mate, it just stop moulding, literally, and move on. Everyone else in the situation has moved on. Your wife has moved on. She's with the neighbour now. She's got the kids. Just just take the L and keep going, fella. You could turn it into a dub. You could turn it into a victory royale if you just change your ways. It doesn't have... You don't have to go back to lobby, bro. It's not over. Come on. Just proving their point there. You don't know how to keep your business clean. Right. Yeah, that that's an interesting choice of clothing there, Cam. Um definitely gonna, you know, be a conversation starter at the old uh, the old speed dating. Right, I, I'm just going to cut the act. You can't go speed dating in clothes like that. And I know I'm not one to talk about what someone wears. If you've seen my Instagram, you know I dress like absolute shit. But fuck me. You can't make all these videos being like, oh, I want to find the love of my life. And then pull up to speed dating and that. You'll drive all the fucking women away. You can't come dressed as someone going into the I'm a Celeb jungle and expect them to take you seriously. Right, well, this one's just a bit sad. I, I can't really banter this one, can I? Um, said it before, I'll say it again. Can, mate, please go to therapy. Make your TikToks like this. It's not the way to deal with your divorce, fella. Uh, just, just go get help, innit? 
it's gonna it's gonna do you a lot better than making silly little videos on the internet. That's really put a damper on my my funny commentary video now. Cheers, mate. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is fucking awesome. Ow. Oh, you're well relatable, you can. I also am part of the youth, you know, with their skibbity toilets and their phantom taxes. Um, all jokes aside, what the fuck is a phantom tax? Like, I genuinely feel like an elder when I hear people talking about phantom tax. What is a phantom tax? Like, I get a skibbity toilet and all that bollocks, but, yeah, mate, I'm getting old. I can't understand none of this fucking new wave gen alpha bollocks. To prove I'm getting old, I I'll tell you something. Uh, this is being recorded on Christmas, um, going out on Boxing Day. Uh, I, I genuinely, this morning, I was fucking gassed to really to get an air freshener. I shit you not, I got one of them wall plug in air fresheners, and I was gassed. I'm bro, I'm ancient. I'm get, I'm becoming ancient. Yep, shouldn't be saying this. You, you, you fucking like five year olds that watch me won't find me relatable anymore. That's it. This is the final straw. I'm switching to Apple. You can blame this video. Listen to her. Fucking hoes and popping pillies, man. I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas, and they always be smoking like a rock star. Fucking with me, call up on no Uzi and show up, man. Them the shot toss. When my homies pull up on your block, they make. What is he showing off? There's there's no muscle there. What, like, I, is it meant to be like a I'm proud of my body post? Because if so, based king, you do you. If it's meant to be like, oh, I'm so strong, fella, you failed. Um, also, this video is like, it's twice as long. I, I've cut this down. I've halved it. Um, yeah, J just be thankful because the, the second half is literally just him looking into the camera while leaning on the sink. Don't really see the point in that part of the video existing. Uh, one lyric I'm keen to hear if there's any backstory. But the reason I like this lyric so much is... Uh, Tonally, it's a little bit of whiplash from one topic to the other. Suddenly, it all makes sense. We know why his wife left. He has a podcast. It, it makes sense. I cannot blame her. I mean, we need to ban podcasts because of people like him and even people like me. I've run several podcasts into the ground in the past. Saying all that, please, can mate, invite me on your podcast. I would gladly come. It would be so funny. Uh, I would come with a smile on my face. Anyway, with that, I think we've looked at enough clips and I want to go into uh, why this video is titled The Next Pool Breach, because this guy, he only has like 8k followers right now. And I am predicting that uh, like within a month, he's going to skyrocket. He's going to have like 100k. Uh, I, 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 he's going to be the next pool breach in terms of like big virality and it being a bit weird and shit. You know what I mean? That That's my predictions. Anyway. That was today's video. Be sure not to send hate to Cam, but this was all a bit of fun. Um, if you do want to like, go ahead. You can comment. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can see my face on the screen now. On, opposite that is a video that YouTube says you'll like. Why not watch it and uh, let me know in the comments of that video if they were right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.